Hi, and welcome to the first video in our Firebug video series. This Firebug series will give you a step-by-step -step tutorial of using Firebug to customize your website. In this first video, we're going to walk through how to install and use Firebug to customize your website. We will be covering some more advanced things here, but this is a great introduction video to Firebug and is a necessary first step in taking control of the look and feel of your site. Maybe you have limited knowledge of CSS, or this is your first time working with Firebug. In either case, we will help you approach Firebug as if it were your first time using it. This video series will build upon itself, but this will be a great starting point to gain insight and real life examples of how to use CSS to customize your site from a beginner's perspective. This video will require some basic knowledge of HTML and CSS. If you feel at some point during this video that you need some clarification on Firebug, the code used, or the demo site being used, please check out the notes section of this video to access the resources that we have provided for you. These resources will give you a better understanding of what is going on in the video and why we are using Firebug for custom CSS. So let's dive in. And again, if you have any questions along the way, check out the resources in the notes section of this video. Let's start by downloading and installing Firebug on our browser. Firebug is specific to the Firefox browser, so you will need to be running Firefox to be able to use the full version of Firebug. Just a note, there is a lightweight version of Firebug called Firebug Lite if you are running on another browser. Let's open Firefox, go to Tools, Add-ons, and click the Extensions tab. Here, you can manage your Firefox add-ons. Now, let's search Firebug. You should see it pop up as the first option. Click Install and Restart Now. Now if you go to Extensions, you'll see that the Firebug add-on was installed. So now that we have our Firebug extension installed, let's access the plugin and use it to edit the CSS of our site. First, let's open the site that we want to analyze. You can open this demo site, which is listed in the resources in the notes section of this video your site, or any site that you want to follow along with. After it's open, go to Tools, Web Developer, Firebug, and click Open Firebug. Now you should see your Firebug panel open. You can make this as big or as small as you want, and can give more room to either side panel. You will want to be visually comfortable with your screen, as at times, this can look a bit cluttered. But there is order to all of this, and most sites will be very organized. So let's look at what we have here. Starting at the top left, if you click the small Firebug icon, you'll see a drop-down menu bar with Firebug options. Next, we'll see the HTML status bar, which indicates your location in the document, and the HTML panel, which displays the HTML that we are working with. On the right, you'll find a search bar, the deactivation button on the far right, and the side subpanels below. The style panel reveals the CSS rules that are being inherited by an element. In this case, the entire site, as indicated with the HTML on the left. The computed panel shows the browser's computed version of the CSS. Layout shows the positioning information of an element. And the DOM panel shows the JavaScript properties for the HTML that we were working with on the left. For this video, we will only be using the HTML panel on the left and the style panel on the right. Now that we have a better idea of what we're looking at with Firebug, let's get into some of the code that it's displaying. Without getting into an entire lesson on HTML and CSS, let's just look at the code that we have and how Firebug lets us interact with it. At any point, Firebug can be giving us a significant amount of information, but let's break this down into something that we can work with. On the most simple level, Firebug is giving us three sets of information, element, HTML, and CSS, and it all comes back to what's being displayed on the site. Any tag that we click on in the HTML will result in a set of CSS rules on the right that both correspond with the element that we are working with on the site. For example, if we navigate into the HTML and open our body class, we will see a bunch of div tags that fall within the body class, exactly like an outline. As we hover over different lines of code, we will see different areas become highlighted. If we dig a little deeper into our div ID header, we will eventually find a div tag called menu. 
And as you can see as we hover over this line of code, the menu on our site becomes highlighted. Now if we were to click the div tag that holds this information, you will see that there is a different set of CSS rules on the right. So thus, we are working with three sets of information at any time. Now if you wanted to do the same thing, but you wanted to access the element information via the browser, you could either right click the element and click inspect element, or you could click this blue inspect button on the left and navigate through the HTML by hovering over the actual elements on the site. This can be really helpful since you may not know where the subtext for the menu is in the HTML. If we click on it, it locks our position on that specific element. And on the left shows where we are in the HTML, and on the right, what rules are in effect for that element. So, we have element, HTML, and CSS rules. Pretty easy, right? Follow up and dive deeper into the Firebug plugin by watching our next video on using Firebug to add custom CSS. This has been brought to you by Epic Era Studios and Make Design Not War. I'm Charlie. Thanks for watching.